What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of GCS. Now today I got something a little bit different for you. You may like it, you may not. And I'm, I apologize for taking so long for me to make the next video. Everything's just been real hectic around my house. Like we had a hail storm a couple days ago. And then after that, a few things happened with, like I had to go to work. Today I got off of work because we didn't have anything to do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I got a little treat for you. I'm going to have two things today. And the first thing is going to be the how to disable the Xbox stat monitor. Which is, whenever you use an Xbox controller, and you click the middle guide button on the PC you can hit the guide button and it'll pop up it'll say the stats of the control like how much battery life you got left and things like that and the reason you would want to disable is if you have a program like pinnacle game profiler which is an Xbox controller mod for PC so you can use a controller with PC you can use the guide button as a hotkey for the any game you want say if you want to make it where it shows up the stats of the game but the problem is if you have the stat monitor up and you hit the guide button it kicks you out of the game so I'm gonna show you how to disable that all you do is you can go to the stat monitor. You can get there by hitting control, delete, and going to Windows Task Manager and then selecting processes. Or you can go to the, hit start and go to the search function and type in Windows Task Manager and then click processes tab. And whenever you do that, you're going to click Xbox stat.exe, right click it, and click in process. Now, after you get done with that, it won't be able to pop up at all. And in order to get it back, you can either start up the stat manager again manually by going and finding it in the programs file, or you can restart your computer, which is the longer version version but either way as you hear I'm pressing the button now and it's not popping up for the next guide I'm gonna show you how to play the wow alpha and I mean the wow alpha like the wow before wow was wow basically now normally I wouldn't condone this but since I've already checked this out and I've already tested everything you're gonna go to this link that I send you from for pirate bay and you're gonna download this torrent and normally I wouldn't tell you to download a torrent because it's kind of a lazy thing to do but uh it's just too fun to pass up and there's no way you can really get back to the wow alpha unless you do do something like that so you're gonna download this torrent if you don't know how to download a torrent you just go google it and, or i'll do like a guide or something one day on how to do it and then what you're going to do after you download it you're going to open it up extract all the files that you need to extract you're going to open it up you're going to open up the wow alpha server first and after you open it up then you're going to go to options and when, once you go to options you can choose do all the stuff you would normally like choose the continent you go to you can choose the city you want to go to and then on the ip address you're going to type in 127.0.0.1 and that's your local ip address address and you could probably do like a live server if you wanted to it with using Hamachi or something I wouldn't recommend doing it straight connection to your computer because some assholes like to take advantage of things like that like open port so I would just go through Hamachi or something like that what you're gonna do after that you're gonna go ahead and hit start server and that should start up the server right away start it running and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start up the wow alpha client and just double click that and it should and it should pop up and you just hit start you don't need a name and password you just hit start and go straight into the game and create your character you can use a character that's already in the database and I've created a quite a few characters well that's the guide hope you liked it I'll have more for you as soon as possible and I'm, it may take as long to have the video I doubt it though I don't think it'll be another hailstorm for a while well, that was the guide hope you enjoyed it if you like my videos favorite rate and subscribe and thanks for watching this is DJ from the DJ gaming channel